This coming election, we've got to choose between a challenger who is a bishop of a cult. A cult that teaches that Jesus Christ and Satan are brothers. And on the other, a man who has boldly, I'd like to have seen some of that boldness that he had on May the 9th when he spoke against marriage. I would like to see it show up in the first debate, quite to be uh, frank and honest with you, who have boldly and unashamedly spoken out against God, endorsed abortion, has joined the ranks of those who want to redefine marriage. Any way you look at it, my friends, we're in judgment. What do I think will happen if the president wins? I'm afraid that if the president wins the election, he will continue on his course of replacing God with government. Let's go back to Clinton's greatest quote, in, in my opinion. He said this, quote, the era of big government is over, end of quote. No one is saying that today. Well, today we believe that a government solution fits every problem. If you want to know where we're headed on the current uh, uh, trajectory, trajectory, we're on our way to being like France and Greece and other European countries that are collapsing under the, under the massive debt rate. If we elect Mitt Romney, I saw the, 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 the Romney effect when I watched the Republican conventions, as I saw the Obama effect when I saw the Democrat convention. I'm concerned about where he worships. Let me tell you why. I noticed during the conventions, and even since he's become the Republican nominee, more and more you hear less and less from our conservative Christian leaders about the sins and the wickedness of Mormonism. And let's say he keeps his promise. I think it would have a much better effect on the economy than the policies of President Obama. But I do think that his too, his policy is going to come at a price that would be too high. It would be a Puric victory. The Bible says that when the man of sin is revealed, he's going to oppose all pre-existing religions. He's going to come against all that is called God, and he will set himself up as God. If they earn my vote, one of them will get my vote. If they do not earn my vote, I will not vote for them, and I'll leave it in the hands of the Lord. I'm praying that the Lord will come back. I believe that we're in the last days. These are exciting times, my friends, but we're going to have to take a stand and, uh, and stand on the God of the Bible. God always has a remnant, and I want to be a part of that number. So we'll see what happens. What America will look like in either way, it'll look like a country that has forgotten its God.